course our goal is to build a monstrous, powerful, stable chiropractic practice. And I would have to say, if I could only have two tools to do that, all I would need to build a huge practice are a bunch of these, a bunch of really good business cards, just like we designed here at Winner's Edge, with the picture done a certain way, with the map done a certain way, and the key points, we have to have an incredibly good business card, number one. And if I could have any other tool, it would be this. A model spine. As I visit offices around the country, and I have visited a ton in the last month alone, I am shocked. I'm absolutely shocked. In fact, I've got an outline here because there's so many points I want to go over today. And my very first point right here is the word shocked. I am shocked at how few chiropractors have a decent model spine. Does that not seem like the most basic thing every chiropractor should have is a really good model spine? Doesn't that just seem like that's automatic? But it's not. How a chiropractor can get out there without a really good model spine and build a huge practice, if you've got an unbelievable personality and you go back to where you know everyone, it might be able to happen, but otherwise, for the rest of us, this is going to be a critically valuable tool. So I want to spend a few minutes here and go through how we can use the model spine and the little spine uh, motor units. Now, when it comes to model spines, there are the cheap ones, and then there's the really good ones like this. It's sometimes called a German spine because it's got the foam discs. All right? And one reason that this is so great is because it holds shape. See? It holds shape. In fact, there are people in the past who have been known to put water on the metal, let it sit outside and rust, so when they do change the shape, it goes ee, ee, and squeaks because it's rusting. Incredibly uh, powerful effect if you happen to have one that'll make that sound. But here it is. Sometimes it's called the German spine. That's the one with the foam discs. This is the one to have. Do not waste any time on any $90 spines, get the two or $300 really, really good model spine. It's only your profession. I mean, come on now, we have to have this. So there it is. Now, also along with this are the spine units. And these have become very hard to come by and I don't know why, because you used to be able to get them everywhere. And you know what they look like, they're the four vertebra, they use you on a little plate, but who knows where that is now. And so what we do is we take a good one and a bad one, and we put a pair in the exam room, and then we take the other good one and bad one, and it goes right here in the, my primary adjusting room, and I've got them. We'll get to those in just a second here. I wanna spend some time first on the model spine. Now, this is great for several different reasons, and I wanna go through all the different training points. You see, I'm looking for my pen. I gotta make sure I cover all these because there's so many. This spine is great because it holds position, because you can show how the vertebra twist, of course, you can show the cervical curve, just like so. One of our favorite things to show is how the thoracics blow out like this from sitting. In fact, I'll sit down and I'll say, your, your, low, your, your middle back blows out just like this. That's why it needs to be adjusted every week for your entire life. Do you realize that that alone, because of we sit and this blows out the back, because of that alone is a reason why people need to go to the chiropractor every single week of their life just for that all by itself. I'm showing this to people continuously. We sit and this blows out the back using the model. They see it perfectly. That's where we make our adjustments here. And I go just like this. And those are why those adjustments are so critical for your posture because you don't want to end up a hunchback old lady, do you, Ellen? And then we show that, okay? And you see how we just put the pressure on there? We say the head gets over and then over time, gravity just starts to beat you up and you end up this hunchback. You don't want that to happen, do you, Sharon? No way, you don't want that at all. That's why we keep the adjustments consistent so we do not allow your spine to become crippled. We don't wanna see you crippled over. Very important, and we show that with the model spine, all right? Critically important. Next thing is this, is people will ask, and this is gonna become more and more common as the chiropractic profession sees a decline in the overall skill of chiropractors because as new chiropractors come out, 
They're nothing like chiropractors of 15 or 20 or 30 or 40 years ago that had nothing but technique on their mind. Now chiropractors graduating have all these other distractions and so they're just not technique wise like chiropractors used to be. That's just a fact, I'll just tell you right now. So the stroke thing is real in the profession today no matter what anybody says about stats. It is a real thing. I'm dealing and counseling uh, chiropractors literally every month of my life who have had this happen in their office. And it happens and we, and we expo quote explain this using a model. We say, you see the blood vessels going right up here? If the vertebra is really, really twisted, it will stretch this blood vessel right here. And if it goes too far, it can stretch it, uh, stretch it and injure it. But rest assured here, Ron and Susie, we don't use any techniques like that where people have the head turned all the way and then get turned farther. Those are old medical techniques. They're old osteopathic techniques that don't ever happen here in our office. And I get them comfortable and then I never have an issue ever for as long as I live. Um, with that particular question in my office. So we have to be able to explain that and this model spine is really the only way to do it because it's got the blood vessel where you can show perfectly. You can teach and when you teach, people trust you, okay? So very important that we understand that one. The next thing we have to be able to understand as soon as a woman talks about being pregnant is I grab the model spine and I look through it just like this and says that that baby's gotta go right through there. So we wanna make sure that this is beautifully flexible so the baby can go out and everything can just return right back to normal right away. So our adjustments here in the lower back and these SI joints are going to be critical so you have inc incredible flexibility and you can have as, an easy delivery or as easy delivery as possible. Then of course, after you deliver, we wanna make our adjustments to get everything put back together because what's going to happen is as the baby comes through, the baby's gonna be pushing on these vertebra and boom, they blow out the back and that's why so many uh, moms have back pain after their first, second, third child. So we must make the adjustments to the low back and of course make sure the pelvis is square and you can have a uh, a pain-free motherhood. So again, it's looking through here because that's where the baby has to go, showing that the vertebrae get pushed back as the baby moves through under exertion, especially since mom is curled up like this so often. And of course, um, addressing this. See, I put it on my shoulder and I see it has to open like this. And I address the SI joints in the back. So once you use the spine model well, for a woman who's just become pregnant, believe me, you're an expert because you taught something that nobody else will ever show them and they'll trust you and then they'll want to uh, undergo care during that entire process and into motherhood. So there's that. Now, on this one, it isn't the easiest one to show a pinched nerve, but you can because you can grab a, a, a couple of the vertebra and say, see that vertebra shifts and it starts to pinch that nerve right there. See how it does that? And then we have a problem with wherever that nerve goes. So it works nice for that. We use them usually the smaller model, uh, models for that, which I'll show you in just a minute. So there's that thing you have to be able to show. Another thing I talk about a lot as I show people this is they'll say it hurts and they'll think it's like an SI joint. But I want to show them the nerve comes out from the vertebra and the vertebra and the SI joint are literally that close to each other. So I want people always knowing it's spine, 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 spine. Uh, so often chiropractors are doing everything but the spine. But for me it's spine, 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 spine. It's L5 99 to 1 over any SI joint. There's no nerves coming out from between the SI joints. But there's a bunch of nerves coming out, L4, L5, uh, sacral plexus, all of this stuff. So we're st sticking with the spine. And then so I want people to know it's spine, spine, spine. They need to get their spine adjusted. Then we'll go out and check things like SI joints and other joints in the body. All right. Now, I also like to use this, uh, say if I have an intersegmental traction table, I'll say, see, when you lay on the table it, and it pushes up, it causes the vertebra to separate and causes a little bit of suction in there to, to pull some water back into these discs. So that's why that table is so good. The table goes up and it goes like that. And because of the foam disc here, it will, it'll show that very nicely. Okay. Just like that. It's very, very valuable for explaining the value of an intersegmental traction table, which many of our offices employ. All right. Another thing I love to do here is I want to get the patient's hands on it. So I'll show them their soft pisiform, okay? And I'll say, just put that right on that vertebra, just like that. That's what I'm doing, see? I'm putting that soft right on the vertebra right there, and that's how we make our adjustments. If I can get the patient touching this, 
and feeling the nerves or a kid feeling the nerves, all right? then they're much closer to really understanding. And when I kind of explain what I'm doing, it's interesting. Chiropractic is so interesting to people. Uh, as the, at the making of this video, this last weekend, I was at a big major sporting event in the fight world, which I spend a lot of time in. And I had an opportunity in a hotel room with fighters and coaches to explain chiropractic. And they're fascinated about the stuff that we take for granted. But when you talk about nerve flow and vertebra, and here's what we're doing, they're just riveted because it is fascinating. Let's not ever take it for granted, all right? Now, it's important that we tell people, especially kids, that this is a plastic model. This is not like from a real human being. And we say this is a plastic model because spines and skeletons and bones are scary, especially to kids. I walk into offices and I'm amazed at how many times I see a whole skeleton in there. I'm going, you got a skeleton? That's like Halloween. Get that out of here. Just have a good model plastic spine and always tell people that it's plastic, okay? Now, one thing I will use to explain also is if a person talks about physical therapy versus the chiropractor, I might say, let's say you have an injury that does this to your spine. Now, if you go and you start exercising a misaligned spine, all you do is wear it down more. So we must make our adjustments first, then our exercise and all these other activities will be fantastic. So it's chiropractic first, exercise second. And of course, nutrition and these other things are important too. But they're nowhere near as important as chiropractic. It is chiropractic first, period. It does not matter what you shove in your face and stick in your stomach if the nerves going to your stomach are running at 70%. So it's chiropractic primo importante. And then all these other things fall off of that. So let's keep ourselves focused on our chiropractic. Now, as we go to the models, and oh man, do we use these all the time. In fact, these are used so much, if you look, you might see how dirty this, this nerve is from me touching it. They're supposed to be a bright yellow, but not mine because I'm use, uh, using them and pulling on these things all the time. So let's go over a lot of the different scenarios where we're going to use the models. I've got them listed right here. First off, of course, I want people to hold these and feel the good one versus the bad one. You want people to feel these sharp edges. Say, feel that, Marge. Isn't that nasty? And those are pushing in the back of your throat. Those are the abdominal aortas running across the front of these vertebrae, and it doesn't like these sharp pointy edges sticking in the back of it, okay? All right, so we want people to feel what this feels like, dried up, brittle, okay? Crippled, painful, sharp, annoying, all of these things that we don't want people to have and we don't want to have either, versus healthy pads, flexible, mobile, excellent nerve flow. All right, so we want these in people's hands. Feel this compared to that. Do you want this? No, I'll see you every week. It's that simple. All right, now, as we explain the disc, and I'll use this one, because people will ask, oh, my brother says he's got a bulging disc, and then you just, boom, you can't just tell people, well, a bulging disc, we treat that all the time. That means nothing to people. People buy with their eyes. So you go, boom, you got your model, I got a little shelf right here where these sit, right there. Okay, face paper, adjusting equipment, model vertebra. Okay, and I'll say, well, here's the pad right here, and it's got a really tough material wrapped around it, but you see what happens is the vertebra starts to shift and irritate the nerve, and as the vertebra shifts, it starts to put pressure on that pad, and it can start to smash and blow out that pad. But the problem is the vertebra. So we must get your brother in here and adjust the vertebra. It's all about vertebra and nerves, okay? If the car is out of alignment and the tires were out, the problem is not the tires. It's the mechanical alignment. The, the soft tires, they just get beat up because of the misalignment. The disc gets beat up because of the vertebra misalignment. So we wanna keep those vertebra forward and flush all the time, nerve hole wide open. Let's get your brother in here. Let's take a careful look at his spine, all right? Now, of course, the pinched nerve concept here. Now, even if it is toxins and all these other things, for lay people, it's so important that they do understand this. The vertebra shift and start to irritate the nerve, and then it starts to go to the left side or the right side. Oh, yeah, it is on my left side. See? All right, so we know that that's where the nerve has the pressure. Sometimes, if it's ultra bad, it'll go down both sides, and we don't ever want to see that happen. So we show that here. Now, of course, what you do with these is you lift this up and you flick this over with your finger, okay, and get 
it's so there's no nerve in there and that's when you have a person put their pinky in there and let's say it's a person with very small fingers and that's when you grab see just put go ahead and put your pinky in there and then you grab and you pinch that thing in their finger this is old school chiropractic explanations and it's more valuable than ever right now because people don't explain stuff as well. They don't use charts as well and don't have subluxation handouts that are as good as they used to be. So the explanations are so watered down. Get back to the fundamentals here. Model spine, pinch that nerve in their, on their finger and say, see, that's why we have to make these adjustments. They will remember it forever. It, it's worked forever and it will always work because it's the truth and it has such a kinesthetic power. All right. Now I also can explain how surgery works. We get one that looks like this and we say, do you see here where this pad is, the jelly has been squished out. The surgeon will try to go in there and clean all that up so that it won't have any more pressure on that nerve. So if a surgery is necessary, we want them to go there and clean it up and then get right back in to see me so we can continue to make our adjustments to keep the spine in as good a shape as possible. It's too bad if you would have come in a lot sooner, we probably would have been able to prevent this. But either way, once the surgery work is done, let's follow through with our chiropractic to keep you good for the rest of your life. Critical, we are able to understand and explain surgery. Of course, subluxation, we want them to feel it. And this is where we also will explain, hey, this is why people get shorter over time they're losing the pad between the vertebra. And then they'll say, well, if you start working on my spine, will the pad grow back? This pad will never come back. It is lost permanently. I want you to remember this word. What we are here to do is arrest the condition. Okay, your spine is getting worse. We want to arrest the condition. 77 years old, bone on bone. How come I'm not better? Hey, our first job is to keep it from getting worse. And then we want to get you as much better as we can and we'll take every percent of improvement that we can get, won't we, Brian? And that's the language we would use, all right? Now, also as we explain this, we wanna make sure we emphasize certain words. See, this is degenerative joint disease. Watch how I say that again. See, this is degenerative joint disease. Nobody wants to have a disease. And it is degenerative joint disease, and it is a disease process, and chiropractic is the best ever, because as we work on these areas of the spine, keep as much mobility in there as possible, hydration, nerve flow, and everything else that chiropractic is good for, okay? It is, it is critically important for these people's future. So the worse shape the spine is in, the more important chiropractic becomes. All right, now, I want to take a minute here and grab the regular model and do a couple more things here. I'm just gonna do a very quick uh, explanation of how chiropractic works. Uh, and this can be used, of course, in a report setting, of course, with a new patient. On any office visit, let's say you have a good patient and they brought their father in and you wanna show the dad how it works very quickly, all right? Maybe it's even with a kid and you're sitting down next to kids and letting them feel the vertebrae and you explain. Your ability to explain how chiropractic works, your ability to explain why everybody should come and see you those are your two main things. You graduate from chiropractic college, you get yourself a really good business card, you get yourself a model spine, and you learn how to explain chiropractic well, and you learn how to tell everybody to come and see you, and you'll build a big practice. We do high-level trainings here, the Winner's Edge Boot Camps, the most physically and mentally intense events that exist in the history of the chiropractic profession done right here at the Winner's Edge Chiropractic Training Center. And we have chiropractors come up and we even have CAs come up for our high level CA trainings and say, you got one minute, why would we come and see you over the other 50 chiropractors in the area? Well, because we have you know, state of the art equipment and we've helped a lot of people, nobody cares. I'll explain to you what to do in a second. First thing is, in explaining chiropractic very quickly, we can just use this approach. And I have countless approaches, but I just wanna do a few here as we wrap up this video. And this is a little bit longer video, but quality material takes a little bit of time to explain. You're not gonna get anything out of some two or three or four minute video, all right? So here it is. Well, how does chiropractic work? Well, it's pretty simple. We have the spine just like you see, and there's all the pressure of body weight, plus all the things we do, all the bends, falls, slips, and twists, can and will cause the small vertebra to shift. And if they shift, and when they shift, 
It causes pressure on the nerves, which brings pain or numbness or tingling or weakness or headaches or indigestion, heartburn, any a number of named symptoms. And so my job is to figure out which vertebra are the ones that are misaligned. In chiropractic, we call this term subluxated. They're out of their normal alignment, okay? They put, they put braces on subluxated teeth. We go to the chiropractor for subluxated vertebra. So we go to the chiropractor and we figure out which vertebra we start to make the adjustments to get the spine back to as perfect as we can. And of course, when we do that, the power from the brain is able to go down through that spinal cord, which is the tail of the brain. So you don't want to have any pressure on your brain, do you? Well, you certainly don't want any pressure on your spinal cord either or on any of the spinal nerves. So we make our adjustments to make sure that all of these nerves going everywhere in the body are running at a full 100%. And that's what you want, isn't it? You want all the power from your brain going down that spinal cord and powering the body at 100%. That's why chiropractic is able to help such an array of people from all ages, from just a day old, all the way up to 99 or 100 years old, because when you have a full powered nerve supply going into your body from the brain, there is no way that you're not gonna be much, much healthier than you would be otherwise. That's just one variation of explaining chiropractic. Now, another thing I would do here would be, why, would you, why should you come and see me? And it would be something like this. I want you to learn how to tell a story. I'll just tell you something very quickly. Troy, why should we go see you? Well, I'll tell you why. When I was in college, and I was uh, actually in the Air Force while I went to college, and I was working out a lot, I'd hurt my lower back, I was dating a girl. In fact, her name was Tori, just like mine. Weird, I know, but it's true. And her dad was a chiropractor, and I didn't know what a chiropractor did. Her parents came to town to visit uh, her going to college, and uh, sure enough, I got the chance to meet her dad in a crummy little birdhouse of an apartment about as big as this room. And I said my back hurt, and so he laid me on a futon couch, and he made an adjustment to my lower back, boom, and I stood up and I went, wow, I can't believe how much better it feels. And he explained to me that the lower back vertebra had slipped a little bit, and he made an adjustment to set it back in, and it took the pressure off the nerves. And that's why I felt better. And I went, wow. So I decided right then that I was going to learn how to do what he did for me, and I was going to become a great chiropractor, and I was going to help as many people as possible feel better, just like Bob Larson, DC, did in Bozeman, Montana back when I was in college. So the reason you should come and see me is because I understand what pain is like, I know what to do, I've got the heart and I've got the desire to help you, and I'll tell you what, with all the things and all the processes and procedures and all the things we have in our office and the 7,000 people I've helped already, when you come and see me, rest assured, you're going to be well taken care of. So let's do this, let's set up, at, what time do you get done with work? Around five, I'll be there till six. Just stop by real quick, we'll check the spine, there's no charge, and then we'll go from there and I'll show you how chiropractic can change your life just like it changed mine. One example of a hundred possible stories I have. Tell a story and then bring it around and get to an appointment. All right, I also have uh, some sample videos I wanna have for our Facebook ads, using the model spine and other variations of videos for Facebook ads. Uh, we don't have enough time to do that here. I'll make another video on Facebook ad samples from myself and we'll have that available for our members here very, very quickly. But that's plenty for now. The model spine, have it handy, use it like crazy. The motor units, have them handy, use them like crazy. Perfect for the new patients, perfect for the report, perfect to have right there for office visits. And of course, for any event, we don't go anywhere without our model spine. We don't go anywhere without our spine motor units. So use these well. When you can explain how chiropractic works and you can explain how people should come in and see you more than anybody else, I promise you they absolutely will and you'll build the practice of your dreams.